Hi, my name is Brennan Sianich, and today I'll be discussing my program with you, the Imaginary Number Calculator and Educator. It's for the Congressional App Challenge, and it teaches students how to use imaginary numbers, because imaginary numbers can be a very complex topic that you discuss in your math class. So it first starts with a string of questions from the definition to calculating what you might need on your homework. So first it says, do you know what an imaginary number is? Type Y for yes and N for no. We'll first say N for no. So it gives you the definition. An imaginary number is a complex number that can be written as a number, as a real number, multiplied by an imaginary unit I. What is I? I is another way of saying the square root of negative 1. Therefore, I squared is negative 1. So, we can rerun it, and now that we know what I means, we can, we're ready for the next string of questions. Identify the imaginary unit in 4 plus 6i. Well, since we know that it's 6i, because it's the one with the imaginary unit, let's put 4. So, the fir 1 for the first answer for 4, and let's see what happens. Sorry, that's incorrect. As a refresher, an imaginary number is a complex number that can be written as a real number multiplied by an imaginary unit i. What is i? i is another way of saying the square root of negative 1, and it reruns through the same things that we said before. So to see if you're paying attention, what if i squared, what is i squared equal to? So we'll put negative 1. Great job. Uh, that's correct. Let's put n for the next question. Type 1 for the first and 2 for the second answer. So we'll put 1 because it's the first one. Great job. Uh, that is correct. Now we'll learn the difference. Uh, what different answers can come from computing powers of i? Type 1 to continue. So now is the calculator portion. This is my favorite part. You can put any number you want and it will tell you if you raise i to that power what in terms of i that number would be. For example, if we put 7, it would be the same as i to the third power, and the answer would be negative i. So as you can see, uh, that's the calculator portion, and here is my code. Um, and thank you for listening uh, to my presentation.